at this time of year, you know, December, January, is focused on goal setting. Well, maybe not everyone, but those people who are interested in personal and spiritual growth are setting goals for the new year. And that's a good thing, except that the majority of people don't ever achieve their goals. They don't meet those goals. It's, it's really a kind of crazy thing. We go through it all, you know, every year. Those of us who are into that, we go through it every year, and then we don't, we, we don't achieve our goals. So I want to propose a different way of going about goal setting, something totally different. And I'm coming at this from the experience I've had related to identity and choosing your identity. So I know that when you choose an identity, your habits fall into place. So if you decide, for instance, that you are a non-smoker, you will no longer smoke cigarettes because it's not who you are. If you decide to be a writer, then you will write because that's what writers do, right? Those are the habits writers have or the habit writers have. The same goes for goal setting though, right? Because habits are behaviors, right? And they're going with this identity. And when you choose the identity, then your habits and behaviors fall into line. But the same is true with goal setting. When you know who you want to be, you can determine what goals that person would have and then those goals, because they're in alignment with the identity, will become easier to achieve. Of course, you have to do the things that help you achieve those goals, but you'll do that because that's in line with your identity. Okay, so basically you have to decide who you want to be and then determine what kind of goals that person would have. Now you can reverse this and you can ask yourself what goals you want to accomplish in the new year and then you can say who would I need to be like what type of person would be able to achieve those goals right so you can come at it from either direction identity first goals first but it comes down to identity because it's being that person that is going to help you achieve the goals so as you go about figuring out what you want in the new year, I suggest you start actually with a vision. That vision should be written, it's for the new year, but you're gonna write it from December 31st, or as if it's December 31st, 2022. So I'm shooting this December, uh, December 24, Christmas Eve, December uh, in 2021. But if I want to create a vision for 2022, I'm gonna write it as if it is December 31st, 2022. So I'm looking back over the year and I'm saying, wow, what a great, fabulous year I have. Here's all the things I accomplished, all the things I experienced, all the relationships I had, you know, whatever it is, the health I, I created, I'm looking backwards. It's already done because we know from a law of attraction perspective or creating or manifesting perspective that we want to be not in a place of want, but in a place of have, that we already have it. We have gratitude for what we have created. So we start there, create the vision for the new year, look backwards over all the things that you want to have accomplished, right? And then you can say, who, who would, you know, who would I have to be to have that kind of year? And that's where your identity can come from. Or you can say, to have that kind of year, what would my goals have had to be? And you can start with the goals, okay? But so you have your vision, and then you're going to, if you start with identity, you will determine who, who you want to be, need to be to achieve, you know, to have that kind of year. So in this case, it would be, you know, if you wanna be a writer, you would say, well, you know, if you wanna author a book, let's say, you'd say, I need to be a writer, and my goal needs to complete, my, my goals need to be to complete a manuscript, to get it edited, to, you know, to publish it, self-publish it, whatever, get an agent. But these would be your goals. And then you can align actions with that. Daily writing, submitting to agents, building your author platform, going with something I know very well, which is authorship, right? So that's how you would proceed. In the other case, if you have your vision, you can say, okay, what would be my goals? In order to have that kind of year, what goals would I have to have? And then you will say, okay, so those are my goals. Who do I need to be? What kind of person would have this, have experienced this 12 month period, right? Who would that person be? How, who do I need to be? 
and then your goals will align with that. And you know, so it's who do I need to be to have achieved those goals, had that kind of year, right? So you have your goals, you have your identity, and then the actions will line up with that. So that is how I believe you can um, move beyond the, the average person's success rate with goal setting, which is pretty low, and actually achieve those goals and move above the pack and be able to say, I achieve my goals every year. Let's start with 2022 and work from identity first, okay? Because even if you work from goals, you know, these are the goals I have, you're still coming back to identity and identity is the, the key here. It's being the person who could accomplish those, who has those goals, can accomplish them, has the habits and behaviors that help them do that. So identity is at the very top of this process, right? But you're gonna start with the vision, then you're gonna either figure out your identity or your goals, then you're gonna go from there, okay? I wish all of you um, happy holidays. By the time you see this, Christmas will be over, but happy holidays and a very, um, fulfilling, um, fulfilling new year. That's what I wish for you. By the time you see this video, it will be, um, well, it'll be just, it'll be before the new year. Uh, so yeah, so you know, to me, fulfillment is, is so important. It's, and, and unless we're showing up as who we really want to be and achieving the goals we we, that are meaningful to us, not just goals other people tell us to have, then life isn't fulfilling. And it's not fulfilling if you're doing things that other people tell you you should be doing. Um, this is really about standing in your power, being authentic, and moving forward into the new year in a way that feeds your soul, right? And that's where fulfillment comes from, is when you're doing the things that feed your soul. You have a purpose here. There is something you're meant to do or accomplish. Um, a way that you can give your gifts and be of service. And when your goals align with that, when your identity is your authentic identity, then you will achieve fulfillment. And so that's what I wish for you in the new year, along with peace and health and abundance and prosperity and all of those things. So if you don't know who I am, if this is your first time seeing me here near the end of the year. Um, I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am an intuitive catalyst, uh, intuitive transformational catalyst. I'm a certified high performance coach. I am an inspired results coach. Um, I'm an author coach. And I help people get from where they are to where they want to go by getting out of their own way. I help people combine their passion with their purpose so they get inspired and take inspired, inspired action and achieve inspired results. If I can help you in any way, please reach out to me. Just go to ninaamir.com and fill out the contact form or click above and check out the Inspired Creator Community. That is where I offer group coaching, um, both high performance coaching and inspired results coaching, but you can also work with me one-on-one. -on -one. In any case, the Inspired Creator Community is where I do my best work with the amazing people in that community who are all interested in personal and spiritual growth. So I hope our paths cross often in the new year. And until I talk to you again, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.